in the from the world of time. Yeah. And OECD and so there's a lot of books available. But um, do people take the iPads also? Does it work or yes. Yeah? All time. <laughs> mm -hmm. And still they don't want to read this. Or they're not they, uh, they have their own documents to read. Yes? <laughs> okay, this is the begin screen. Mm -hmm. So if you logged on, mm -hmm. you you get to see that this is all open. <laughs> and this is all your information. Mm -hmm. And this would be the first screen you see. And uh, if you look at the screen, and, and if you could tell us uh, what you think, if this is handy for you. The things you see, it's of course in English. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah no problem. But this is about the budget. For this is the renewal information. Mm -hmm. This is status information, and down there is more information. Mm -hmm. And there's obviously some information you don't like or don't need, <coughs> mm -hmm. and there's some information you might like. Some people say, "Oh, I don't want this page at all," mm -hmm. so because I would never use it. Yes. So I was uh, curious to know if you would um, find this page interesting as your first page. Uh, I don't think so. No. <laughs> I, it's now the time for to renew all the uh, subscriptions. But then, you know, I it's easier for me just to have a list with all the publications mm -hmm. listed A to Z, and then I think. Yes or no, uh, mm -hmm, right. to renew, like uh, I do now. Exactly, okay. Yeah. So, um, and because, well, I think if there are more librarians in a library, it would be more useful because they all work on, yeah. but it's only me, exactly. so I, I know everything's going on in the library and what mm, is yeah. renewed or not. So, uh, for me, it wouldn't be useful at all. Okay. But, uh, Libraries are very different. Yes, 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 but that's why you're so interesting because you're only me. Exactly, and that's yeah. very unique because yeah. it's very hard to find. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, many libraries like me. But not the Swiss. Okay. And not so nice people. <laughs> <laughs> of course not. <laughs> mm. So, this would not be interesting. Um, not really, because. It's easier for me just to have the exactly. titles. Well, we'll skip it all together then. Uh -huh. uh, because we do have, of course, uh, also the page with the titles. Yeah. And um, this is a search. Do you, do you do search for titles, right? Or ISSN or... Yes, I do. Mm. If you would... Uh, uh, Springer is uh, the key word. It only works with a couple of words. So one of them is Springer. So you want me to make a search on Springer yeah, as for a the, publisher? Yeah, or it could be the title in a, in a journal. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. It's the only available thing in the demo. So that's yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. Would, it, would it be interesting to have the homepage, depending on the renewal season, that if the renewal season is there, that you see more information on renewing subscriptions? Or you would always just want to go to the list of titles where you can yeah, I think it's the yeah. titles would be more interesting okay. because I uh, have titles for all the departments. Yeah. So it's I send out for every department what they want to renew, mm -hmm. and I know what costs are and what my budget is. So I say, oh, this is you can't get that much, mm -hmm. or this is okay, and I just renew them. Some title by title. Yeah. It's very easy on the uh, the old version. On the current, yeah, just click yeah, it's the current. yeah, it's very easy. I just got some titles yesterday. I w uh, they asked me to renew and it's done. Okay, so you really like it. It's easy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah.
Is it uh, clear? Or is it too much jumbo jumbo? Or? Yeah, it's... Uh, oh. Maybe it's because of the search uh, term, Spanish is to, uh, a publisher and a word, so it makes more mix mm -hmm. uh, search. So uh, it doesn't really tell me much because it's most uh, it's from Springer publisher. If you would do a search, how would you normally search? I'm ser searching articles. Mm -hmm. or, uh, usually they would ask me if there anything about oil development in Uganda, for example, mm -hmm. and then I can search in sweats or I bought this um, deep search uh -huh. so from sweats yes. yes so I w I would make a big search in all my sources yeah. and then I will get articles or books and from all over it doesn't really matter the, where the source or what the source is sometimes it's a specific article, mm -hmm. but not very often. They will just ask for some new or what you have on oil in Uganda exactly. from 2012, and then I, oh, here it is. Oh, okay. Yeah, and it's full text, and that's fine. And you always know what you're looking for. Yeah, more or less. So yeah. you would never get this long list of results. No, because in in this kind of library, it's very specialized. Mm -hmm. So everybody coming who comes here and asks for things, they're working with a very specific area. So they will have, you know, ask for natural resources in Liberia or, yeah. Very specific questions. Yes. Specific articles. Mm. Mm. Yeah, the only thing is that the, the, the search that you described is more a content-related search. Mm. But if you would search for subscription... Yeah, as as me when to renew. Yeah, for instance. Yeah. yeah. Then I just log in to the the sweats, uh, wise and search the uh, the title. Yeah. And just find it and renew. Exactly. Yeah. And if you use the title name, do you use part of the title? You just type in the whole title, or do you copy paste it in the site, or do you? Um. If if you do you think like I have a subscription somewhere with Journal of Medicine, so do you search for medicine or would you really type Journal of Medicine and go? Yeah, it's as less I can type, it's better. But yeah? okay. so my Journal O isn't a very good title. So mm -hmm. then I do, um, and Africa isn't a good title either. So I have, sometimes I have to or click on the uh, the letter, just the T or mm -hmm. you know Journal O. And then I have to, and what's annoying me on this when you have this A to Z list, you can't go back to the list. You have to start again. Because I I had them make the list more beautiful, yeah. right? You should have a back button. Okay. Because I have to make a new search if I don't find it or I. If I click on the uh, the journal and it's not the right one or so, then I can't go back to the the um, w w the search. I have to start okay. and make it again. I'm going to get my iPad and I'm going to type it. Let's make a title bank. Or is that? Um... Yeah, this A to Z list. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. And the, have the. Do you have problems with your um, data bank? Last time I tried to find a title in the sweats in the big database, there were zero hits, and that's not through. Oh, that's so. that's weird. Sounds like a small problem. Was it temporary or was it? I can oh, show you it still on there. my computer. Because I tried to find out if we have any, if there's any other um, journals on agriculture or whatever it was, mm -hmm. education, and I searched in the big database and it's zero. Oh. And 
I said I ha I was uh, teaching a new yeah. colleague, so I said, "Oh, this is not how it used to be," <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, because I wanted to. I always tell them that we can have table accountant alerts on in, instead of a full text subscription yeah. if it's a quite random journal, and then I couldn't show her. Oh, it's interesting to, to see. Uh because that is, that is a new problem, it wasn't before? Yeah, I, I have forgotten to, to check it today. Mm. Okay. Yeah, but we have to, I have, I can do it. Good. So, if that's a problem, you should really be aware. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it sounds uh, like a big <laughs> problem indeed, yeah. Mm. Okay. Zero results, right? Mm-hmm. Are you happy with the typing? Wonderful. Yeah? Yeah, because it can all, if I just pack it up, hop, click, yeah. close it, mm. I take it along and I open mm. it up. Yeah. yeah, it's very good and it's good. only 20 euros. Yes. So it really complements the iPad. Yeah. Mm. But I also like typing on the iPad. Yeah, yeah, because I think it's okay to type on the iPad. Me too, it's wonderful. Yeah, I just have to <laughs> clean it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, all the time, <laughs> clean it. And the nice thing is that it's standing up. Mm. That's uh, actually, and that you can protect the screen with this, mm. but the typing, yeah, it's nice on the iPad already, yes. so it doesn't really, mm. it's just got more functions. Yes. Yeah, for mm. bigger text you can type. You've got quicker. more possibilities yeah. to mm. type. Yeah. Yes. Mm. So that's, the, we have two things, so that, the, because I did make that list. Yeah, yes. A to Z, nicer, right? Yes, okay. yes, you well, did. At least I asked yeah. them to make um, it nicer. I have, yes, I did. But I have another question mm -hmm. with these lists. Uh, when you have um, al uh, um, when you want to change uh, or to look uh, which alerts a person has, it's not possible. To click on the the name and see how, what they are, have. Uh, yes, that's right. Yeah, you have to log in as the user to see which. Yeah, alert you have to click on delete to see what they have, and then <laughs> if you regret the delete, you have got the list. But that's a very stupid way to do it. Yeah. Uh, Did you understand what I meant? I, I understand that you cannot click on the name of the person if you want to see the alert. Yes, that you have on to that person. Exactly, you have yeah. to delete yeah. to see which ones they have. Yeah, because then you have to delete them. Yeah, when you click on delete, you get an, uh, a list of all the alert all the say. users that have it selected. No, you get what that specific person has alerts on. Well, I would also have to check that yeah. later. So <laughs> that's quite stupid. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Voila. Anything else? Because um, now I'm typing. Yeah. <laughs> now I talked to another librarian in um, Belgium, and she's very. She's. I think she's much cleverer than I am in searching. But she's very annoyed about the search. Um, you don't. Or your search engine is not good enough to find your. It's only searching in the abstract or title and abstracts, not in the text. Yeah, we don't have full text yeah. search. No, but I have that because of my deep search. Ah, yeah. Yeah, so it's not annoying me <laughs> <laughs> anymore. <laughs> and we don't have access to the full text in most cases. We're not allowed to. Search. No. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. yeah. But this um, this deep search yes, have a better way of searching. Yes, uh, mm -hmm. and normally they, we, I think I also, I had a meeting once with some university that were the, designing a search engine, mm -hmm. and they also came with the argument of the abstract, they say, the abstract is short information of what it's about, so if you cannot find it in the abstract, then it's probably not that important, uh, oh, the machine is... Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, I took the contact. Huh? Sorry. I don't know the Oh yeah, okay. Can I have a little bit? Yeah, So the...
All right. And it's good that he's here because he knows a lot about the system. Mm -hmm. Current system, yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Anything else on the old system uh, bothering you with your job? Uh, no. So if you could fix this, I'm um, happy. Mm -hmm. And I use this a lot. A lot. Okay. It's what really good for such a library as mine to yeah. to offer alerts on, um, especially on uh, subjects. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know what she means. You know, I, can, uh, I can make search and make them as alert. The the search alert. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you when it's you do a search fun. on a subject, you get all. And yeah. each time a new content comes in, you get an alert with an email yeah. saying like a new content came in, and you can. Okay. Mm. Yeah, it's very popular. So you cannot click on the name of the person to see what alerts they uh, they have subscribed you, to. Okay, because within this company, you would want to do that. It's easier for me to. Uh, sometimes people uh, change uh, what type of work or change area, mm -hmm. and then I wanted to check what they uh, what what kind of alerts they have, ah, yeah, yeah. and then to change some of them or to just to remove them from there because they're not working on fishery anymore mm -hmm. it's just they have changed to agriculture and then it, <laughs> it would be easier to see what they what alerts they already have and then we move alerts with the exactly okay so i would like to see everyone's profile in a way all yeah. the all their subscriptions is that possible though? everything is possible no i mean but if you can see them while clicking delete, then it should also be possible to... Exactly. Yes. yes. Yeah. So I don't know if this is actually a bug or if it was never... Has it, did it ever work like that? Could you ever do it? Yeah, it has always been like this. Oh, okay, so it's yeah. just... Um, mm. So it's a, it's a stupid thing. Yes. Just, I'm not sure why. Perhaps because of privacy reasons that they thought that... Let's not allow anybody... It's just about viewing, or would you also like to be able to delete alerts from the user? What do you mean? Um, but, um, you say you want to view what the, their alerts are? Yeah. But would you also want to be able to delete alerts for them? or? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you actually want to maintain their alerts? Yes. Because I have to manage all the alerts because I'm logged in an administrator. Mm -hmm. they, they are not able to do that because they don't have the, the rights to go in to manage alerts. It's only the, me. So but you can give them the rights to no, to have no. ten alerts, and they can take the alerts. They cannot them. manage alerts at all. It's only the administrator of the system who can make alerts. Now I'm curious, but let, let's check that later yeah. because I'm. <laughs> well, okay. This is not how I remember that the system. Yeah, you have to be logged in as an administrator to have the possibility to make alerts. And no, you don't need to. The end user can also. Oh, yeah. You can, I know that the administrator says, okay, this user can have 10 alerts, oh, yeah. and then the end user can say, I have 10 alerts, so I want this alert, I want that alert. And oh, yeah. So perhaps, uh, perhaps we yeah, can already solve the problem for you by... Yeah, but they would never do it <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I know what, what, what you can do is then the administrator can create email addresses and say, like, hey, I want to send alerts to these email yes. addresses. Yeah. So then you don't need special users, you can... Just take the email address of people and just say, okay, they can get these alerts. And then you don't even need users anymore. Uh, but uh, we can do that later. Uh, okay, let's give it a go. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He knows a lot about it. So. Mm -hmm. so this is nothing, not something that would actually would only get one result, I guess. Mm -hmm. And would you then be interested in package of, or purchase options? No. Not well. Only in the lists. Yeah. If you click on status, is that something uh, more, a thing like this? Yes, that's okay. That's fine to see if it's published or not. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But it's in the system already. If I go into sweats, why this, yeah, the subscription. I can, I can easily see 
if it's cancelled or published or but this is more it's it's a nice um, looks nicer yeah yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. okay but the, so if we would what is in there now but then created in this uh, environment will be uh, good enough yeah yeah mm -hmm. so cancel mm. this is fine I'm also trying to make it easier to use. So yeah, mm, it's easy to read and mm. more Yeah. Mm. And for renewing, you how would you renew your subscriptions? Do you go in one by one, or would you like to see like okay, I want to see all subscriptions that can be renewed or can? Um, usually, I have a printed list. Mm -hmm. And. Um, you know, make notes on it. Yeah. Because sometimes I um, or I take copies and send to departments. You have all these subscriptions today. Mm -hmm. Do you want to renew them or have other things or remove something? And it, this is a cost for them. Mm -hmm. And then I send it to them, and they have oh, okay, okay, no, 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 yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So then I, it's easy to okay. have a printout. And if I could make printouts for each department, yeah. it's easy. So it would be nice if you could group this yeah. list. Mm, because in 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 the system, they all put into a, or they have part each dip or every title has a department code or something. yes, its library or the climate department mm -hmm. or whatever so it would be nice to just to make a list or maybe it's possible today I don't know I haven't done that just to you know click on uh, lists for each department and just print them out and see what they have <coughs> and then I, I could renew everything on the, on the net that's fine okay mm. would that work the same for claims Yes, I do all claims on the net today. Okay, you don't print anything out, it's just no. directly on the net. Yes. Okay. Mm. And if you would have the option to, for instance, <coughs> create a list here for that department mm -hmm. and assign it to someone from that department, um, would that help you or is the print always the, the way it will work? The print is fine. Yeah, because yeah. I was thinking of what if you make, um, if you can say, hey, I have department A and these subscriptions are for department A, mm -hmm. you put them on a list in the system, mm -hmm. and you say, I want to send this list to, to, somebody? to somebody from department A, they can view the list in this application, and they can say per thing, I want this renewed, uh, and they mm -hmm. can assign it back to you, and you can see the list, and you can say, perhaps... Uh, I think they uh, send the list around. To oh, okay, to otherwise, because everybody will have to mention yeah, something and it yeah. would not really be useful to do no, it over No, I don't the... think so. Okay. Because they uh, have all 10 on the section would like to see. Yeah, so nice. a printed list is fine. So, did you see my brief? Yes. <laughs> Torture, you guys. It is, yeah. Okay. Oh. I'm going to make my job. Yeah. Oh. That's too big. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so actually, the, one of the nice options would just be able to print the list that you create. So you, yes. you want to create it, and you say print, 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 you get 10 prints, and you can send them around. That yes. would be really very useful. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Sometimes the easy solution is that. Yes. Yeah, but it's, it's so completely different from others. And if you only talk to other people and not to Elsa, you wouldn't do that. Because no. Elsa wants this, but you know Marie doesn't. So that's mm. that's why we talk here with you. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> no, I th every library is different. Exactly. Yes. Every library mm. different needs. To, they have mm. a lot of overlap, but uh, yeah. And of course, in big libraries, when they have many librarians, you have to have a system so you can track what everybody or what or the status of mm. but of, it's in my head exactly yeah. you so don't I don't need, need so many systems no you just need a couple of pages like this yeah and of course I need uh, to know uh, if I have um, 
uh, claimed a journal or what's the answer for that and you know mm. yeah the feedback on uh, yeah and how uh, how do you get about email or in the screen no, today it's on email okay. yeah on a yeah, PDF from the Norwegian office mm. Mm. Just like now. We need to find some, we need to try to find something in the middle of the for everybody. So, and a print button on the screen is that will work for everybody. Easy, and I think it will be it's used by a lot of people. Yeah, I don't know how many people are using for export print, uh, or print. Mm -hmm. Those are the really yeah, it's important. just two uh, two buttons. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> two buttons, export and print, and that's mm. used print to Excel yeah, or send by email or, or and send and then add. You CC yes. somebody yeah. so you can do that. It's very simple things that make this uh, yeah. program nice. You don't have to make it complicated. No, no, on the contrary, you make it simple, keep it simple. Yeah, keep it simple. So, but for you, you wouldn't want uh, to see a lot changed. You want it the same as now, but then that it works better. And uh, this is fine, but uh, I don't need any change. Exactly. Yeah. So if I have, if it's easy to make um, uh, aggregate uh, lists for departments, for departments, it's fine. And uh, just to make, you know, all the choices uh, only um, only active subscriptions for the new. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a lot of people like it. They have certain things like make it a bit faster, and and like what Elsa just says. So the A to Z list make give it a back button. Really simple things make that make the current system already super to work with for a lot of people. Mm. And of course the A to it looks a bit you know old fashioned mm -hmm. today. Yeah. People think, but. We're used to it, <laughs> so I don't care. But I, I think it looks a bit old-fashioned. No. Who cares? Well, mm. we can do something about that. Yeah. Mm. This looks more. Exactly. Mm. So we will make it a bit more like yeah. this. Yeah. Mm. And and you'll have all your information like this, yeah. so you get it over. So I I think I told you last time that on the A to Z list, I would like to have space to put information on the front page but it's not, I'm not allowed to do that today no. you know to sell uh, to tell people if I don't have it anymore I, ha I have it in print until 2012 but now stopped some free text, uh, yeah some free text uh, after the title it's like not published anymore yeah, uh -huh. I'm thinking it's a whole bunch of information you can help out there, but it's not doing it. It might help. But yeah. Because when you see a title and you think, oh, it's interesting, and then if you click on it and you say, oh, we stopped to have this in 2009, mm -hmm. you have made a click you didn't need to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's a waste and it's stuff, a bit annoying for people. Yeah. yeah. They are still there, but in a list because I want to have them in there. But mm. Mm, do do and uh, also and print export. <laughs> Going all around the world, mm. people making this very interesting. This uh, the new one will be uh, launched in uh, the first quarter of 2013. Mm -hmm. Would you like to have a sneak preview of that? Yes, that we invite please. you to yes. have a look. Yes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, wonderful. So mm -hmm. I'll send you uh, the, oh, maybe not me, but Sweats will send yeah. you an invitation. Yeah. Good. And you can uh, and then give us feedback. Well, no, this doesn't work for me. Or yes, it works. Or you can make it even better if. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, I do. Oh, wonderful. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. great.
um, what we're going to do is the current sweat wise, and we're going to take uh, only the catalog part, so this part, mm -hmm. and only make that new. So you're working new yeah, old. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Okay. It's a mix, yeah. Yeah, there's mm. a mix, and then slowly we'll make it. Yeah. Oh. Mm. That's the idea. So okay. But w w just thinking, if there's a very interesting article in the coming up in one of the contents, would it be possible to to lift it out and put it on the front page on some internet or whatever? Look, this is. Ah, you want to promote something yeah. to your users? Uh, yeah, would that be possible? Uh, we didn't think about it yet, but it's a very interesting mm -hmm. idea. So I could, you know, the uh, the article of the day. <laughs> oh wow! Yeah. In a way, if you And where would that where would that live? It could be on the front side page on the internet. Oh, of the. Uh, of the oh. local internet, for example. Oh, that would be difficult because you need some or kind of. Or RSS or whatever yeah. like a system put something on on the internet. I'm offered a page on the new internet, so I could have new things from the library every day if I want. And they're making specialized pages in the, or websites in the internet on health and education. Mm -hmm. And I could feed in articles into the system on if I could make a search uh, RSS feed into the pages. Yes, they have a U URL, or yeah. mm, so it's it's you know automatically it's just yeah. Is that possible? Uh, well, exporting the article more actually it means that yeah, you can export everything from the article that you need, also the URL to the article. So mm -hmm. I'm just mm, okay. thinking of how to tell the external system, you know, that this is what. It means, you know, mm -hmm. if we are sending something, the, the other party has to be able to receive it. And that is, but with RSS, might be possible. And deep linking. It is deep linking. Well, you're exporting a deep link, but yeah. you have to send it somewhere. Okay. Yes. So if you cannot so say. So if like our system is able to to take it in. Yes, that is yeah. the, the yeah. main. Um, we are because we are um, now making a new system. Mm -hmm. Ah. Yeah, so that's why uh, I've got all these possibilities. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. So, of course, I want to market what I pay for. Yes, of course. <laughs> and, yeah, fair. and it would be nice to have, you know, new articles on the subjects they subscribe on. Yeah. So they can, that's a website, they go in and look what's new on education, meetings, articles, networks. Whatever, so I could have you know from the library. Mm -hmm. t -t 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 -t. That would be nice. That sounds very interesting. Mm -hmm. Would it be useful to put it here somewhere on the homepage of people that that when a user logs in that he sees like a this article might be interesting. So on the the first page we started, you know, that page was not interesting. Would it be helpful to show the information on well, that one on this page? You know, would it be I think to show you, uh, the internet will have different pages, themes, mm -hmm. so they subs subscribe on these special pages. Yeah. And if I could mm, make talks uh, or alerts to these special pages in the talk alerts mm -hmm. system, just to, uh, uh, instead of an email address, I could uh, put it into a URL or whatever. You see? Yeah. So it would mm. not be useful to put it in here somewhere. No, no. It's it's really for I, it should be directly yeah, on an jumping into this mm, without my help. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but then you would say, I would like to see this one on that internet page. So that would be hard yeah, to do. Yeah, that's another way. But if if I I'm if I'm clever enough to make. Um, search alerts, mm -hmm. they could be just dumped yeah. into these yep. pages. But today it's all search alerts has to go to an email address. Mm -hmm. But instead of an email address, it could go to an URL. Yeah. As a, as a RSS or whatever you call it. 
Mm -hmm. Well, it's a little out of, out of cadaver for me. But you understand it, right? Yeah, I, I understand it. Uh, I think many small li libraries like this, very specialized libraries, mm -hmm. like to yeah. make things like this. And the, the, the main thing is this will work best when you follow a standard. I think RSS might be standard because if we just develop our own standard and everybody will have to constantly develop something on our yeah. own intranet. And I don't know too, uh, too much about the new internet, about so uh, the technical part, so I can't tell you now. Yeah. But it's something at least to I will investigate to see what is possible and then yes. mm -hmm. you can see if it's worth uh, going there. But the interest, uh, the idea is very interesting. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. wonderful. Yeah. Good. Good ideas are always welcome. <laughs> 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 mm -hmm. Yeah. Because if you say a lot of small libra libraries yeah. would like this. Yeah, because we are working so directly to our customers. Is it? This is good for you, and this uh, I'm sure this article is very nice yeah. for you to read. You know them personally. Yes. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So that's how I work all the time. Mm. Mm. That's very important to know. But you know, if I could um, make it automatically, mm -hmm. it's easier. I don't spend too, so much time with. Exactly. Mm, and still, and it's not. Uh, dependent on oh I know who's working with which area then they have the page and they just check it there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Should be fairly easy to do. And it's easy to export the data, but importing data in the other system, we don't have control over that. That's the problem. We only have control over sending the data somewhere. Mm -hmm. So that is the well, we could send the people who are interested, of course, or tell them what they should do to be able to receive that information. Yeah. Then, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. So the, but that's, that's your problem. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps a web server or a thing, and uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. It'd be a nice little innovation. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's, it's actually a search alert. But then you don't subscribe on Sweatwise, but you subscribe on a website on another uh, external mm -hmm. site. Mm -hmm. That's a bit what the idea is behind it. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you understand what these buttons mean? Catalog should be uh, everything in Sweatwise. Mm -hmm. The A to Z list or whatever you have. Yeah, everything. Yes, and the status should be the status of. My subscriptions. Mm -hmm. Reports should be the report I could, I can make. Is it? No, it's not something yet. It's your yeah. idea. It's uh, what I would like to um, aggregate our catalogs. Yeah. Okay. In my head. Yeah, yes, that's what I want. Account asking. should be something with money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wonderful. Because we're wondering if what people think when they see these buttons. Yeah. So that's where they're not filled in yet. Because we yeah. might have an idea, but that's yeah. not interesting. And th I think it's di it's different because we have different uh, background and experiences with the voice, but that's my. No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And with the account, if we would uh, have the financial information, uh, what kind of financial information would be useful then? Uh, would you use our financial information if we were no, so? I think libraries who, which, if they have um, buy ebooks, mm -hmm. they can see how much money they have on the account or how much they paid already. Uh, because we have a budget for all the old books or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I would have. It would be easy for me if I could see all the money aggregated I've paid sweats for this year mm -hmm. because I know how much money I have to pay or I have on my budget for subscriptions and then I could see how much I've spent there. Yeah. Or today I have to go into the accounting system in Norris 
and it's very complicated. So if it's easy, so it would be useful to have an overview where you might be able to enter your budget. Say like I have one hundred thousand euros to spend, and then it shows how much of that one hundred thousand euros is used up. Yes. Would it also be useful to have alerts that says like hey, you're at eighty thousand euros now, so you're almost on your next budget. Would that? Or is that not that interesting? I. I'm thinking about if people are allowed to order subscriptions, you know. No, they are. Uh, so you're the only one. So you. It's only me. So yeah, you know. I um, take care of my money. <laughs> no fingers into it. <laughs> <laughs> but still, to have a nice overview is. Um, yeah. What's uh, what's spent. Into. Yeah, and. Um, of course, it's very. Uh, I would like to know um, if I renew or how much money it will cost to renew every subscription, and also uh, when I have a to make a list of what the the sum mm -hmm. for all subscriptions to be renewed, and if I take this, if I delete this subscription. Then the sum will change, so I know the, how much the invoice will be at all time. Yeah, so not at the moment that you really want to renew them, but also before you really want to renew them, you want to make a list where you can see yeah, what it what will it cost, will cost me. Mm -hmm. So if I have any money left on this budget, I can spend them on something else. Yeah. But I want to see if, yeah. It's always nice to know how much money you have mm. left. <laughs> <laughs> how, how do you spend your budget? Is it that you say like 80% you spend in advance and you keep some budget left for when people say I would like this uh, to order this title? Or? Uh, most uh, of the money for subscription is on the this time of the year or in the end of the year mm -hmm. because the big invoice from Swiss is in October mm -hmm. when so they have to or I just thought about it today I have to check all the renew rules now mm -hmm. to send out and say people have to or all the departments have to say what they want to have next year mm -hmm. so it's the next month will uh, will be renew all subscriptions and then I will get the invoice and pay before 1st of December, so I I think I've spent 6% of the uh, subscription budget Six. now. Oh, no. And, uh, and in December you probably spent... 100%. Oh, well, 100%. Yes. So as of December you will not order new titles anymore? The, uh, I have to spend all my money before the 10th of December, because they close the account. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. That's on so it's always nice. So every month I get an um, overview from accountants department how many percent I've spent mm -hmm. on each of the budget parts. So the, my book budget, you know, I spend all the time, mm -hmm. about, you know, 40, 10% each, each month. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I always know how much money I've left on this budget. Oh. But it's not that easy on the subscription budget because prices, you know, change and some subscriptions uh, will never um, be realized. Yeah. And you know, so subscriptions are more difficult to manage. And some the dollar exchange cha rate. the exchange rate has a lot to s influence on mm -hmm. this. And Sometimes, you know, if I buy a, some, a new title in the middle of the year, it will... Yeah, so if I could have a very, you know, up-to-date account all the time, it would be very nice. Exactly. And how you just would see... Uh, What's spent yeah, but how and what is expected on the subscription or the expected prices on the rest of the... Subscriptions. And would you just like that written down or in charts? 
mm, just written down, okay. or if I, then I can aggregate uh, a list. Okay. So if I renew all my current subscriptions, it would cost so and so. Yep. In my currency. Yes. Mm. So that's a count for me. <laughs> Good. Exactly. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. Let me see if there's anything else. This is largely it. Mm -hmm. um, since you do not really... Do you have any questions? No, we are uh, using this more that not that you said much, but the title information, you know, the text information, the parts or the, the licenses I was thinking about. The licenses are not very... Do you really look at the licenses also? No, but I should. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> because they're so different from mm -hmm. publisher to publisher. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so... But it's, I, I always wish I had a, you know, just a line. You are not allowed to send them to any other library, or you are allowed to send them to a library in as an electronic file. You know, this easy information yeah. instead of reading three pages of a contract, that would be easy. You like the basic information. Yes, yeah. you know, just what I'm allowed to do and not what I'm not allowed to do. Because ah, okay, so yeah, you want to... You are not allowed to send this as an electronic file, or uh, articles from this publisher, and or you are allowed to send them to libraries mm -hmm. or to private persons. That would be nice, because it's so many different licenses, and yeah. as a librarian, we, you know, it's, it's very complicated material, and I also so noticed that a lot of librarians have problems. And yeah, and we have the same problem, all of us. And do you do it by yourself, or do you also talk to other people? Yeah, we have some meetings sometimes. Yeah, really. <laughs> and then we the talk about how difficult it's to manage all these licenses. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Especially the access conditions, like okay, you yeah. you are allowed to to send them to, to, to use them in a classroom or to or so many people. You are allowed to just to print and send to a library or whatever. Printing is also very important. Yeah? yeah. And how long you can keep the print, or if you have to burn it, or <laughs> yeah. After yeah, yeah. You saw some, uh, you're allowed to print. You're allowed to print it, but after the, the after that hour where you gave the class, the, the, they should be collected. Then they have to be really, really yeah. Yeah, yeah they're, they're really strange conditions. Right. Uh, yeah, so it's very difficult for uh, all the librarians to keep updated about all different all these different things. So that would make your life easier, yeah. not only yours but all the a lot of librarians. Yeah. Well, do you think Swiss might be able to help out here or? So do you think we could play a role and help you with? You have all the, you, you have all the licenses. Yeah, but uh, they're also not our licenses. <laughs> no, we, we show the licenses from from the suppliers. Yeah. But if you make an extract of them mm -hmm. in two lines, <laughs> yeah, well, oh, we would all kiss you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you take the, th the important stuff. And yeah. you put it mm. in a quick summary. Yeah. Mm. And then if you want to know more, you can always look at the whole license. Yes, 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 yes. I know LM Info do this oh, in okay. a way. Yeah, I haven't seen it, but uh, they do something simple about the licenses. Yeah. Mm. I haven't seen it. Yeah. Do you pay special attention? I, I know for the, the printing. If if you see a license and if you decide to purchase that um, that internet title, you have to sign a license sometimes. Mm. At least cross. I've seen it. Yeah, <laughs> I have it all to edit. Okay. It's, it's so long, yeah. and it takes such much, much time to read. Ah, uh, yeah, those pages. are the. And then I promise not to something, and mm -hmm. instead of you are not allowed to send this as a text file to any other persons or libraries.